And the Dallas Cowboys reminded us that everything is bigger in Texas. Welcome to Pick'em Petey's Playbook, where comedy meets your weekly sports betting fix. Petey's here to break down the week's biggest plays, shocking upsets, and those, how did that even happen, bad beats. So grab your tickets, lock in those bets, and let's laugh our way through the highlights with the man, the myth, the master of mayhem, Pick'em Petey. This weekend football began early in London. The West Coast slept through the game because it started at 6.30 and the East Coast slept through it because Trevor Lawrence was playing. The Jaguars honored the local British folk by scoring only three points in the first half and using just their feet. But despite the slow start for the Jaguars, they actually reported more fans traveling out to the London game than at their last home matchup. They had 13 fans. And the Dallas Cowboys reminded us that everything is bigger in Texas. Not just the QB contracts, but also the size of the blowout losses. The Cowboys lost 47 to nine. Dak scored zero touchdowns and turned the ball over twice, while Jerry Jones just turned over in his grave. Meanwhile, Drake May made his first start for the Patriots, and after just one game, it shows he's clearly capable of leading this Patriots team to first place in next year's draft order. And after losing his fifth game already this season, Don Watson now has 19 touchdowns since joining the Browns in 2022, which is now just three shy of the total amount of lawsuits alleged against him. On Monday, New York City celebrated Indigenous Peoples Day with a flag parade, and the Monday night refs kept the parade going. They called this sack of Aaron Rodgers roughing the passer. That's less contact than most players make celebrating their sack. They also flagged the Bills for an inappropriate conversation, so I just have to assume McDermott was showing 9-11 highlights again. Speaking of 9-11, how did Aaron Rodgers throw out the Middle Easterner in charge and establish his own puppet regime even faster than George Bush? There you have it. Week six in the bag. Plenty of laughs along the way. If you're ready for more, hit that like, smash the subscribe, and we'll see you next week for more of PT's priceless takes. Stay locked in.